right, this is section 6.4, example 4. We skipped this in class. Um, and I told you I would create a video so you could look at it later. So really what I would encourage is for you to try these on your own before you watch the video and then watch it to check your work. Okay, so we have matrix A. First I'm going to go see what dimensions are these. So this is a two row by two column. This one is two by three. This one is three by two. And this one's another two by two. Okay, and then we have all these different operations we're going to do with each of these matrices if we can. It's not always possible to add matrices if they're not the same dimensions or multiply them if they don't match up the rows and columns like we need to. Okay, so A plus D. That would be just taking our matrix A, which is 1, 2, 0, negative 3, and adding matrix D to that, which is 0, negative 1, negative 2, 3. And when we add corresponding numbers, we get 1 plus 0 is 1, and 2 minus 1 is 1, and 0 minus 2 is negative 2, and negative 3 plus 3 is 0. So there is the answer to part A. Part B, we're adding matrix A and matrix B together. We can't. This is undefined. Why is it undefined? Because they are different dimensions. You cannot add together matrices of different dimensions. Okay, that's all of our adding problems. Now we're going to look at multiplying. So we're going to multiply matrix B times matrix C. This one I think is going to take up the most space. So matrix B is a 2 by 3 and matrix C is a 3 by 2. That means that those two match. So we can do this, right? Okay, I'm going to write it out. So 1, 0, negative 1, 2, 2, 1. I usually write them a row at a time instead of column at a time. That was strange that I wrote them in that order. So to multiply, just a reminder, we're taking rows times columns. Okay, so I'm going to have 1 times 0 is 0, and negative 1 times negative 2 is 2, and 2 times 1 is 2, so 2 plus 2 gives me 4. Now my result, remember, is going to be a 2 by 2, so I don't need a lot of space to write the answers in. So I have 0 plus 2 plus 2, which is 4. Then I'm going to do my first row and my second column. So let's see, 1 times 1 is 1, and negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. 2 times 0 is 0, that gives us a negative 2. Then I'm going to go to this one here. So 0 times 0 is 0, and 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, and 1 times 1 is 1, so that gives us a negative 3. Then last, we're going to take that bottom row and the far column. So 0 times 1 is 0, 2 times 3 is 6, 1 times 0 is 0, leaving us with 6. So that is the answer to C. Right, B was undefined, so there's one of our answers. Okay, I'm going to take this whole thing. May or may not group that one part for the yellow lines. I'm going to take that out or just move it so that's where I originally put it. Now I'm going to group it. Good that you get to watch all of my technical stuff. Isn't that fun? I'm just going to move this out of the sea. Out of the sea. Out of the way. So that'll leave that problem there. Okay, CB. So to do CB, we have a 3 by 2 and a 2 by 3. We can actually multiply those together, but we're going to get a completely different answer. The 2 and 2 match, and we're going to get a 3 by 3. So this one we definitely need more space for. Write these down again, 0, 1, negative 2, 3, 1, 0, times 
1, negative 1, 2, 0, 2, 1. And I like my highlighter thing, but this time I'm going to do it slower so that they're not like totally connected to each other and I can move them separately. Okay. Here we are. Purple pen, ready to go. So 0 times 1 and 1 times 0 is 0 plus 0. Remember, our answer is going to be a big old 3 by 3. So 0 plus 0 is 0. Then we've got the first row in the second column. So that will be 0 times negative 1 is 0, and 1 times 2 is 2. Then we're going to do first row, third column. So 0 times 2 is 0, and 1 times 1 is 1. Isn't too bad, a little bit time consuming. Okay, second row, first column. So negative 2 and 0. The 0 makes things convenient, doesn't it? And then we're going to have negative 2 times negative 1, which is 2. And 3 times 2, which is 6. Then we have negative 2 times 2, which is negative 4. And 3 times 1, which is 3. Alright, and then last, we move this one down here. And this one over here. Alright, so 1 times 1 is 1, and 0 times 0 is 0. One times negative one is negative one. Zero times two is zero. And last but not least, one times two is two. Zero is two. This is the answer to part D. So B times C, C times B. Both are doable, completely different. Alright, next we are going to look at B times D. So B times D would be a 2 by 3 in one matrix. That's B. And D would be a 2 by 2. So since these two numbers don't match, this is undefined. Okay, so that was easy. Alright, let's do our last problem, db. Let's see if we can even do it. So 2 by 2 for d, and 2 by 3 for b. So it didn't work when it was bd, but now that it's db, it will work. These are good, and our answer is going to be a 2 row by 3 column. Right? Okay, not sure I have room here to do this problem, so I know I have some blank space on my next page. I'm just going to go use that space. Alright, so I'm doing DB. So D is, so this is part F. D is 0, negative 1, negative 2, 3. And then B is 1, negative 1, 2, 0, 2, 1. Row times column. did those too quickly. The whole thing's connected. Oh, it's not. They're separate pieces. It would work. Okay. So back to my pen. Zero. Zero. Zero times one is zero. Negative one times zero is zero, so that's zero. Zero times negative one is zero. Negative one times two is negative two. Zero times two is zero. Negative one times one is negative one. And I'm going with column a row two. And I know I didn't move this as I went. I was just figuring we understood it by now. Negative two times one is negative two. Three times zero is zero.
Negative 2 times negative 1 is 2. 3 times 2 is 6. And negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. And 3 times 1 is 3. Here's our answer to F.